This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Kahalah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. That's giving all praise to the Most High. In the name of the only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Abar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles and head bishops at the Great Great Millstone who teach in Ruel. Peace and salutations to the whole four legs scattered abroad. I found this article. It says Walmart makes rare retreat on home turf, closing of 269 stores, including includes all 102 U.S. Walmart Express stores, affects 16,000 jobs. This is the follow up, man. OK, and I have another article or a slide where it's going to show you the different uh, states. And how many Walmarts are closing and where at. But these Walmarts are closing because there's no more need for it, man. You hear this talks of with Russia and, and Ukraine. And then you're hearing about Russia getting with China. Okay. And America is putting sanctions on Russia. And now threatening to put sanctions on China. Well, everything you get from these stores says made in China. Everything you get from these stores uh, or um, that you have in your home. Nine times out of ten says, made in China, man. Okay, everything that we that's in these WalMarts, majority of everything in these WalMarts come from China. Okay, so that's one thing. The second thing, they had a big explosion or whatever, a fire of one of their major department stores where they or, or distribution stores, huge store. Somehow it just it's, it's it's engulfed in flames, you know. And we believe that that's by design, man. Okay, because this, this devil he start he's, he's manufacturing a food shortage. Okay, and also these Walmarts going to come in handy. Okay, all 269 of them and even more. They're going to come in handy because they're going to be turned into FEMA camps overnight. They're going to be turned into concentration camps, internment camps, quarantine camps overnight. Okay, this is what's coming. This is what's coming and there's no running from it, man. Okay, see this devil, he came out with his, um, his, his garbage, you know. And that wasn't the end of it. You know, you got people still wearing their mask and stuff. This ain't the end of it, man. Now, now they're coming back in the news with it all over again, saying this, all this stuff, you know, certain people getting it all over again and stuff. This is all leading up to great death and destruction. This man is about to come down with great slaughter, you see. And really, at the same time, what Esau wants is he's trying to fulfill his new world order. OK, this is a race to bring in that MOTB. OK, because you got, you know. Russia saying that they're going to uh, um, leave off from the um, the uh, ruble, okay, or or saying that you have you, that everybody has to now buy their oil and their money, pretty much, man, and they're not using the American dollar, which is going to crash the American dollar that's already crashing, okay. So this is going to lead to more hi higher gas prices, more more food prices going up, more your rent prices going up, okay, inflation then it comes to hyperinflation. Absolute hell. And even this guy Biden came on TV and told you that prepare for, you know, um, you know, hell pretty much, you know, in not so many words. All right. Let's get a little bit of this article. It says Walmart is closing more than 150 stores in the U.S., a rare retreat from the behemoth on its home turf, keeping what has been a difficult year for retailers and shoppers slowed their spending pace and accelerated their shift to the internet there you go see everything is going digital man everything is going digital you're not gonna be able to go to these stores pretty soon and especially without that uh that that karagma okay they was telling you that you had you that you had to have your proof of the the v which your proof the proof of your v is going to ultimately be in that incision that they want to put inside your body okay but um hey man prepare it says and, 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 Slocky, and since Walmart started, man, what they've been doing is they've been strategically putting in Walmarts in every single, you know, county, every single state, you know, 
um, there's Walmart everywhere. And where you go, you're going to find a Walmart because, you know, that was strategical. Because when you play with the words of Walmart, Walmart, Mart, Shalaw, okay, that's, that, 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 that's what that boils down to. And with these um, huge, you know, buildings, it's going to be used for is ultimately, you know, to execute judgment upon the wicked of our people. You Israelites, Jacob's trouble. You know, you're going to find yourself in one of these buildings getting tortured or or, or, or whatnot. You know, they're going to be doing um, uh, beheadings in these buildings, probably. And even, you know, most definitely they're going, we're going to be having people go there to get that, 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 that thing, man. It's like when a hurricane comes and all of a sudden, you know, your local school or your local, you know, stadium becomes a, 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 a hub for FEMA. OK, well, that's how these Walmarts are going to be. OK. So when you see when you, when you hear about this retreat of Walmart, they're they're not just gonna you know leave, leave these stores dormant and, and just you know cut, cut them off. No, these stores are getting um gonna be used to 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 to, to bring all, all hell upon this place, man. Let me start get 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 to this Revelation chapter twelve verse twelve. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe, which means destruction, into the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil. It says, for the devil, who is the devil? Is this some red man under the ground? No, it's the so-called white man that's ruling this earth. That that, 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 that made you get a mask. That, that made you uh go, go, go take that um S H I O O, -O T. Okay, it's it, it, it's this devil, man. Okay, this is the same one that's on, on on the TV, and you gotta sit there and listen to what he say because you gotta figure out how your life is gonna be for the next couple of weeks. Okay, he, when the gas go up, you gotta look 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 look, look to, to these devils for it to go back down. Okay, when you want food, water, clothes, and you got to pay rent, you got to go to these devils, man. Okay, it says, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So this man knows that his time is short. Okay, he knows that his time is short. He knows that he's about to be, um, you know, take, take a head, taken out of power. Okay, and this is why he's going to come down with this great wrath because he's going to try to you know, reestablish his power, man. All right. Over, over this earth. This is why it's called the new world order. You had this guy Biden just come out talking about the new world order. And they, and, and, and they don't just say these things just to say them. Okay. They don't say it just to say them. No, they letting you know. Um, yeah, it's that time. Okay. It's that time. They're letting you know what time it is, man. Okay, now it says Walmart's preparing to cut hundreds of jobs at its Arkansas headquarters as part of the retailer's effect to reduce costs. And this was uh, this particular video, I guess, came from October 2015. So these things have already been in the works, man. Okay, you've seen all these um, shops closing down. Okay, um, liquidating all their, uh, you know, products and stuff, man. All right, you've seen all these deals because they... The victory shop shall shop, shop be uh, so good cheap, man. So this is going li to li li lead to famine, too. All right. This is going to lead to famine, man. All right. And, and, and people think it's all good. It says, um, I know, uh, it's, lucky. It's, it's a little more on this, but, you know, to get to the point, it don't even matter. Let's go back here. It says, is, this is the Wall Street Journal. Is your Walmart closing? Walmart is closing hundreds of stores across the globe, including 154 in the U.S. and Puerto Rico. See if your stores is on the list. Okay, and here you go. You got all the different states. All right. Now I'm in Florida. So we're going to go down to Florida. You know, Florida has three Walmarts closing. Three, 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 three Walmart Expresses closing. Okay. Let's go to New York. You know. I can get a, get a hold of this thing. But, you know, there you go, man. Hey, we'll, we'll, we'll look at Texas. You know, it's supposed to be Texas right here. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> you know, nine Walmart's closing in and, 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 and Texas. What what you think is going to all, all all lead up to, man? Hey, Texas is a big state too, man. So what it is is they're trying to, you know, these are going to be hubs, man. Okay, where they're going to, you know, 
how they show you in the movie, they, if, uh, like a zombie apocalypse, they got quarantine centers and stuff. That's what these Walmarts going to be used for. And they're going to be heavily guarded. And you want to get food or anything, type of assistance, you're going to have to go there and you're going to have to be inoculated. You're going to have to be uh, called mud. Okay. It says, um, Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Because we know these things are coming, man. We, we very well understand what, what, what time it is. We very well understand what, what this all leads up to, man. If you've been reading these scriptures, if you really truly believe in this Bible, you should know what time it is, man. Okay? Some of us may have, may have, may have to die for what, what we believe in, man. Okay? This wasn't just going to stop at, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, a, a, a damn shot, man. Okay, now they're talking about, you know, a fourth one, man. Okay, if something didn't work the first, the second, or the third time, they say the third time is a charm, right? If something didn't work the third time, why would you come a fourth time? And people go line up, but this is all leading up to this man uh, uh, inquiring his enterprise, man. Okay, but the elect are not going to go for it. So because of that, he's going to try to, you know, do, do, a hey, become become the devil, man. He, 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 he gonna, this devil going to show his horns. And we say this a lot. This devil's going to show his horns, man. Look at this. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven in Georgia. Okay. Seven in Georgia. So like, yeah. Seven in Georgia, man. So certain states. Look at this. LA. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And who knows if it even go on. Okay. Eight. Eight and uh, you know, look, look, look at this man. Okay, and they telling you which where, where, where they closing that. Okay, let's see what's up in New York. I guess not closing it in New York. This shows you what time we coming into, man. You're not gonna be able to just go down the street and go shopping. For fun, you're not gonna have no money to go shopping. You're not gonna have you know, a, you know, more likely not gonna have to have a place. Okay. Like I said, these camps are gonna be these places are gonna be used as FEMA camps. They're gonna be turned into FEMA camps. Okay. It says, um, Revelation chapter two, verse ten. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. You see? So we have to die for this thing. We're supposed to be faithful unto death, man. Be faithful unto death. Okay? No matter how bad things get, we got we, 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 we to trust in the Lord, man. Okay, look. Illinois is two, two, two getting. Chicago, Illinois, two, you, got, you, got, you got two that's going bad. Okay? So, hey... <laughs> You know, and like I said earlier in the video, you had some dis distrib uh, distribution center that got that caught caught fire, Walmart distribution center that caught fire, and when that caught fire, um, you know, that 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 that, that shows you that a lot of this stuff is gonna these WalMarts are gonna start the show is gonna get even more dry than they already are. Okay, they're gonna get even more dry, man. This is this book of Second Ezra, chapter sixteen, verse. Who start at verse seventeen? Woe was me! Woe was me! Who would deliver me in those days? And this was Ezra speaking, you know, as a man, like, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa! This is all happening. This is all coming. Who, who, who gonna save me? Who gonna save me? You know, showing you that you know re regeneration. Ezra is back to a uh, day. Okay, the prophets of four time are prophets today. Okay. Verse 18, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings. We are in the beginning of sorrows and great mornings. People have been having fun, been enjoying themselves. You've been living it up all this time over here. You know, you got a nice job. You got a nice car, nice house, beautiful family, whatever it may be, man. You've been enjoying yourself. You, you, you haven't been thinking about the Lord. It's all about been about fun, party and bullshit. Well, now, hey, now it's coming sorrows and great mornings, man. Okay, great people. Hey, great uh, uh, people going to be uncomfortable, man. Okay, all the fun, okay, all the mirth is going to be gone. It says the beginning of famine and great death. Famine means a lack of food, man. And that's going to cause great death. Okay, great and much death. The beginning of wars. We are in the beginning of wars. You see this thing with Russia and Ukraine. That's that's going to only go escalate, man. 
They say, oh, is Russia de-escalating? No, it's going to only going to escalate. It's only going to get worse. And the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils come? When these evils shall come. There you go, man. So we in a time where we in the beginning of wars, the beginning of evils, which means bad times. That where evil goes into uh, um, ill times, bad times, man. Okay. We, 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 we are, you know, on, on the cusp of great death and destruction. And this is why you've been seeing these men on the side of the streets, you know, proclaiming and screaming and hollering at you with these scriptures in their hand. Because that's the Lord telling you and warning you of what's to come. And before the Lord ever destroys a, a, a land, a, a nation, he always sends out a prophet. Look out um, with Sodom and Gomorrah. Did not he send out a lot to, to, to try to warn them and tell them and they still didn't want, didn't want to hear? Look at what happened with Noah. Okay. He told him to, hey, hey, to repent, repent. You know, he started building an ark. Everybody laughed and scoffed and mocked. And hey, that's likened to us on, on this side. We have been building an ark. People have been laughing and scoffing and mocking. I remember the elders and apostles, you know, they, they, they talk about how when they first came out with this whole talk about the FEMA camps and the Karagam and all this stuff, people started laughing and scoffing and mocking at them, man. Okay? And we have entered into, into their labors. And, I, you know, we, we, we've been laughed and scoffed and mocked at called cult members and all this madness man well guess what oh they call us conspiracy theorists well guess what not 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 not, not these ain't so much theories no more huh not not, not this is reality and you realize that the people who've been trying to warn you about this were right the whole time verse 19 behold famine and plague tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment this is just the beginning man okay this is score these are sent as scourges for amendment and the scourges like when you get whipped you know, that's a scourge and that amendment, you know, it has been sent for an amendment. OK, behold, famines and plague and tribulation and anguish. OK, that's the time we're coming into, man. It ain't going to get no better. America ain't going to be great again. America ain't going to be built back. And these Edomites, they know that it's over. That's why they keep trying to, you know, subliminally tell you that they're that they, that they, that they trying to bring it back. Bring what back, man? It ain't coming back. Only way it was even what it was was because they had us in captivity and we ain't never going into captivity again, man. Okay? It's over. It is over. This is what all this is leading up to. It says, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Because even though seeing all this hell is coming, hey, Jake ain't trying to repent. Jake ain't trying to seek the most high. Jake's still going about their day. You know, and when 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 this damn lock those lockdowns came, they was trying to they was they was trying to act like like they was about it. And as soon as things went back to normal, you know, Jake went 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 back missing, man. You know, Jake went back full throttle full throttle into the world. Okay, well, guess what? You're gonna be destroyed with this world, man. Verse twenty one. Behold, look, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon the earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. So these victuals, you go into these stores, they still got deals going on. They still got, you know, you can buy, you know, uh, get uh, two, buy one, uh, buy one and get one free, buy two, get two free, whatever. However it go, man, you know, uh, buy one, get, you know, two half price off, whatever, you know, all these, you know, deals and stuff that they still have going on, all this, you know. You, 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 you're still able to go down the street and get a, a burger for a couple of dollars, man. Okay, you're still able to go down the street. Even though gas is high, you're still able to get gas. But all the, and, and people think that, that, that okay, well, it's, you know, it's, it's all good. It's all, you know, things ain't, ain't so bad right now. They think themselves to be in good case, man. They, 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 they uh, think that everything is all good. But, hey, the evils are growing upon the earth. Okay, the sword, which means Esau coming down with great wrath. Okay, get, getting ready to, to move in with, with his damn Gurgle troops. Famine, lack of food. And great confusion for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy and the dead shall be cast out as dung and there shall be no man to comfort them for the earth shall be wasted and the city shall be cast down. There you go. The earth is going to be wasted, man. OK, the city shall be cast down. And, you know, you go into these all these different states right here. You see all these different states of America. When these Walmarts are shutting down, because what? Those cities are about to be cast down, man. And people are about to put them people into them, them, them damn uh, camps, man. Okay? Let 
can go down a little bit. Okay, because hey, we in that time, man, where hey, the Lord ha has, you know, warned you, Jake's man. Okay, he has sent out his word. You can't say you didn't know. All right. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse. I'm sorry, verse 27. I mean, it's like a 67. Behold, look, the most high himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave all from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So shall the Most High lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. We need to be delivered from all trouble. You got Jacob's trouble coming, man. The Lord said he will lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. Do you believe in that? Okay, do you have faith in that? For behold, look, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over. The Lord said, listen, these motherfuckers about to roll on y'all, man. They, 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 getting, they getting ready to come. Okay? It, when, when, when Biden said that they're, they're, they're losing, they're, they're, they're running out of patience, what happens when they run out of patience? They about to come down with great wrath, man. They about to come down with great death and destruction. They about to come down with, you know, how you see the SWAT team, you know, kick, 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 kick in a drug house. That's going to be every fucking house, man. Real talk. Real talk. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. There you go. So they shall take away certain of you. Well, and what the hell are they going to take you to, man? Huh? What are they going to take you to? You think they're going to ship you across the country? No, they're going to take you right down the street to, to, to your local Walmart where you were shopping all this time, thinking everything was sweet. And you're going to be in there, you know, going through it, man. You know, going through it. They're going to try to, you know, co co convince you to take that, uh, that, that karagma. And if you don't, you might even get beheaded for this truth, man. You might have to be a martyr for Yahweh by Shemal Shai. You know? This is the times that we are coming into. This is scriptural. This is biblical. This is Bible prophecy, man. There's no running from this. This is coming. It's going to smack you right in the face. We've been telling people this is coming. And, 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 and you scoffed and mocked and you talked shit because you felt like, oh, yeah, no. Well, 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 well guess what? Now is the time that this shit is here. Okay, now is the time that this shit is here. And now you people are going to have to feel it, man. It's going to be a time like no other. Okay, a time like no other. Verse 20, uh, 69. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. All you simple niggas that just, that's just going to comply. All you silly niggas that's just going to, you know, roll over and die. Okay. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. It said there shall be in every place. And in the next cities, you see all these cities and all these states up here, man. In every place, in every city, a great insurrection upon those that fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. And they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Who shall be like madmen? Esau, the so-called white man. Okay, the authorities, they coming down with great wrath, man. They, and they're they going to also send these UN troops over here who have no ties to you, Ameri to you American people, who already hate you American people, where they're going to send your troops off to, 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 to their destruction, man. If, you, if you're in the military, if you join the military, you're on your way out, man. Okay, you're on your way out. Unless you get the hell up out of there and the Lord have, or the Lord have mercy upon you, man. Okay. It says, because the scripture says, they, they that be joined unto them shall fall by, by the sword. So if you in their military, you are definitely joined unto the, to the devil. Hey, you know these devils are going to try to fight the most. How he back? Why do you think they got a space force? Because they know the Lord coming back with great wrath and, 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 and his mighty chariots. And they're going to try to literally fuck up, stand up and fight against the, uh, against the Lord. You think they're going to stand a chance to fight against the Lord, man? Verse, uh... <clears throat> Verse, uh, I'm gonna start out. I'm gonna go back to verse 71. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but spoil, still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. And we told, I told you about that, 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 um, that, that bill that they got where Obama signed, Obama signed where all a hey, your house, your car, your food in your house, even, even, even your damn fish food, you know, belong to, 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 to them in this type of crisis, man. Okay, all your gas, your energy, everything belongs to them. Everything you have belongs to them by the stroke of a pen. Okay, by the stroke of a pen. This is just the beginning. All right, this is just the beginning of, of, of the very end that the prophets have been warning you about since, 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 a hey, since, you know, since the beginning, man. All right. 
It says they should be like madmen sparing none. They're not gonna spare nobody. You know, like like I always I always I, I, I go into. If you seen that movie, The Purge, the, the, the last Purge, I believe, it was a scene where they where, where these damn neo Nazis went into a damn project building, and they said kill everything on this floor, spare or just say spare nothing on this floor, some some along those lines. And you know what that means when you go into a project building and you say spare nothing or kill everything on this floor. Do you know who who are in project buildings? Jake. Okay, and most likely single um, mothers with children. Okay, this devil is coming down with great wrath. You, hey, you women gonna realize you need a man of the Lord, and you men gonna realize that you need the Lord, man. Okay, that they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. They shall waste and take away their goods. They're gonna waste all your shit. Come to your house, take all your shit. Okay, and cast them out your house. Before they cast you out your house, hey, you know, you know, they, they, they you know, they gonna want some other goods too, man. You better believe it. You got a, you know, a, 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 a hot wife, you know, a trophy wife that, that just you done gave your whole life over for you. You forsook the Lord for your trophy wife. Well, guess what? They gonna want them goods too, man. Okay, and you can imagine how worse you can get if you got children. It says, and cast them out of their houses. You gonna leave all that big old nice house you got your you don't you know slave for and you know serve you know Satan for and you know you know bow down to Tabal for and did all these wickedness for and forsook your house by Shimei Shai for yeah it's, yeah 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 that's not yours no 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 more okay that's gone too then shall they be known who are my chosen and they shall be tried as gold in the fire okay so then you gonna know who the Lord's chosen is because they they they, they gonna remain firm. When all this hell come down, when all this destruction come down, hey, we ain't going to be surprised. We ain't going to be bucking up. We ain't going to be buckling and folding and, you know, uh, uh, snot, snotty nose, man. We're going to be firm, a hey, hard as a rock, man. We, 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 we know it's coming, okay? It's like if you know that, that you're about to get hit, you can brace yourself, okay? Or you can even block, weave, you know, bob and weave, you know, get out of that situation real quick. Scripture says that, um, I'll grab it. I'll grab it. Uh, let me see. Um, let me go go right here. It says um, cause I, cause I don't want to lose where I'm at right now. But I, I'm, I'm gonna pull this up. This is a uh, Proverbs chapter fourteen verse fifteen. It says the simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his goings. Man, so if you if you know what's going on and you looking well to your goings. You know, you, you, hey, 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 you've been studying, you've been in the scriptures, you, you've been, you know, dwelling on these, uh, meditating on these prophecies, you know, then you, you're not going to be, you know, taken by surprise. You know, you, 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 you are not going to be weak, man. We have been preparing our minds for what's, we, we are preparing our minds for what's to come every single day, man. Okay. Every single day, the Lord is making us stronger in our minds and our spirits for what's about to come. Okay, I'm going to bring that back. It says Proverbs 14, verse 15. The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his goings. Okay, jumping back to 2nd Ezra chapter 16, verse 30, verse 73. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold of in the fire. Hear, O ye my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, look, the days of trouble are at hand. We are, we are, the days of trouble are at hand, man. Okay. We in that time. Okay, when you, when you see stuff like this right here, we in that time, man. That means that, hey, the time of mirth and partying and bullshit and buying and selling is over, man. Uh, it says, um, be here. Oh, ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. There you go. So for those that, those that believe in the trust and the serving of the Lord, the Lord said he's going to deliver us from the same, man. When you people starving, he's going to feed us. When you thirsty, he's he, he going to give us drink. Okay. Be not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Shai is your guide. So the Lord's going to guide us. But for you people that forsook the Lord, not so much. All right. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 Verse two, it is better to go into the house of mourning than to go into the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men and the living will lay this to his heart. So the living, the, the, the spiritual man, the man with some sense has been laying this to his heart, man, that this ain't the time to be trying to have fun and, 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 and you know, be all in, in uh, mirth and jolly and all this bullshit, man. 
This is the time to be getting serious, locking down in the spirit, and getting closer to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, because it's about to be very, very ugly out here. Look at this. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by sadness the countenance of the countenance, the heart is made better. So when you when you catch in hell, when you go through shit, hey man, that makes you stronger, man. You know, I, I remember you know some of the rough, you know, the, 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 the hardest times in my life, man. Some of the hardest times, the times where I struggled the most, the times where I caught the most hell. You know, it, at that time it, it sucked. At the time it, it was dreading, but eventually, you know, now I look back, I wouldn't take it back because it made me who I am today. It has made me into a better man. It's made me stronger, man. M mentally, the same shit that you know, the, the shit that I, that, that, that I was afraid of before, I went, oh, I went through that. Can that can never vex me anymore, man? You know, we have we have overcame and we are overcoming every single day as we fight in this faith, as we as as, as we turn up for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shine the Spirit every single day. Studying, researching, you know, teaching and prophesying what, 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 what we learn to edify the flock and feed his sheep. The Lord is turning us up a, a one notch at a time every single every single day, man. Okay, so eventually they're not going to turn, turn all the way up. So when all hell does break loose, you're going to be, you know, zoned in, man. You know, you're going to be in the spirit, you know. Sorrow is better than laughter. For by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. The heart of, of the wise is in the house of the morning. But the house, the heart, the mind, the you know, where heart goes into mind, of fools is in the house of mirth. You see? So there you go, man. Now let me grab this real quick. I'm probably in off with this. I don't want to make this too long, but you know, it's not the spirit, you know. You know, I've, I've, been, I've been meaning to, to, to uh, do this video, though, so it's good that I got to get it out. You know, man, um, super damn vexed and going through with my damn job and shit, man. You know, just catching hell left and right. But hey, our salvation is nigh, brothers and sisters. Our salvation is nigh. And this is all about to be over very soon. You know, just trust in the Lord. You know, keep keep, keep the hope, keep the faith. It says, um, Here we go. This is it. Isaiah chapter 24, verse 10. The city of confusion, which is Babylon. Okay, America is broken down. America's been broken down. Well, you see all these Walmarts shutting down. It's going to be broken down, man. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. So these stores are going to start shutting down, man. Okay, you saw the first lockdown. Well, then another lockdown is coming. It's going to be permanent, man. You know, a lot of these stores are even since the lockdown, they 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 they, they physically had, had had to shut the doors, man. Close, you know, got shut down. I remember it was a you know a little breakfast spot by my job I used to go to, you know, a little you know you know a, a, a nice little um Latin spot, and they was you know doing you know struggling, and then one day they just said temporary close, temporary close. Next thing I know, you know the damn sign is gone, man. Okay, so we in the time of all these stores getting shut down, man. Okay, you remember it was one one point in time when Walmart's were t open twenty four seven, booming, jumping all the time. Everybody in there, you know, people, you know, were, were going there. You could go to Walmart any time. Now, now they close at a certain time. Okay, now, now they randomly, sh you know, closing for maintenance and all this. And the third, you hearing all these booms on the ground. <laughs> you know what the hell going on? Because what all hell is coming upon this earth, man. <laughs> I'm bringing that back. Second, as I mean, Isaiah chapter 24, verse 10, the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. There is a crying for wine in the streets. I mean, people going go, go, go to be crying for like, you know, joy and, uh, you know, entertainment again. But you ain't not going to be able to get it, man. They're, they're going to be crying for substance, you know, food, you know, so, so, something to make me to, 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 to ease the pain, man. It says, all joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. The mirth of the land. The mirth means the, 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 the happiness, the joy, you know, all the laughter. All that's going to be gone, man. We coming into a time where it's going to be a utter destruction out here, man. In the city that is left desolation and the gate is smitten with destruction. There you go. So it's going to get bad, man. We are, we are just at the beginning of this thing, man. And the Lord is, is, is warning us. You know, he, he he has warned us through these scriptures, man. And now he said, it's probably I had to warn you. 
So you can't say you didn't know. You can't say, oh, I didn't know, Lord. Oh, but Lord, Lord, no, no, no. Nah, man. Okay, we in that time. All right. So, hey, man, prepare your minds, gird up in the spirit, trust in Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. And as we see these things unfold, we're getting a deeper and a deeper and deeper, deeper understanding and person in a personal level with, with these scriptures, man. So that means the Lord is increasing our understanding. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. All right, you can be thankful for the Lord for giving you this word because without this word, you will definitely be lost, man, like, like the rest of these, these people are. All right. So that means I'm going to say Shalom, Kwame Asharala, Abad, Babal. Um, hey, man, we, hey, we, we almost home. You know, endure, continue to fight, fight until the end, man. You know, um, yeah. What that means I'm going to say Shalom, Kwame Asharala, Abad, Babal.